All right, everybody, what is going on? It's Doc. Welcome back to some more Escape Simulator. And today we're going to try some pencil puzzles in the form of Vox's Puzzle Room version 1.4, again by Zeke. And um, yeah, I do play a couple of pencil puzzles myself. Um, however, I don't think I've played this particular one. So it'll be interesting to see what it's all about and how we progress from here. So let's take a look at the rules. Uh, the puzzle is based on a Vox's pencil puzzle. The rules are as follows. Divide the whole room into either one by two or one by three cells. No other configurations are allowed. Cells separated by a white wall have both the same size and orientation. Cells separated by a black wall have neither the same size nor the same orientation. And cells separated by an orange wall have either the same size or orientation, but not both. Okay, so I've got to copy those rules so I can reference them throughout the puzzle because I dare say we're going to need to. And here's sort of like an example, as you can see. So if we look at the black walls first separated here, we have the one by three, and then there is has to be a one by two in the opposite orientation. Here we have an orange, which is same orientation, but different room sizes. And if we look at the white here, as you can see, it's a two and a two, same size, same orientation. Um, there's an example there of the orange when it's um, different orientation, but the same size. All right, let's jump in. And um, I have no idea how we are going to um, get going here at all. Um, I've got the rules to myself, but one thing I didn't read out here is that um, we click on the blue walls here. And um, that will open the uh, um, raise and lower the walls. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so how do we get going here? had a thought though. I just want to check one thing. Are there any examples in this puzzle? Yes, there are. Okay. I just want to check whether there is examples where there can be a one by two or a one by three, which have no colored walls separating them. And there was a couple there. Um, there's two instances here of one by twos where there's no other colored walls. Three actually is one there as well. So, okay, that is possible. That's a good thing to note. Um, okay, so we could take this one for a start. We can say straight away this. No, uh, well, actually, not necessarily. Not that one. We can say here this room has to be this orientation. Is it? Yes, this room has to be this orientation here because of this orange wall here because this white means that it can only run this way. What we don't know at the minute is if it's a one or a two, but if we know that that's running that way, then we also know this one has to run this way. And that tells me that that orange wall, this orange room here is a one by two. So this, by that same logic, has to be a one by two. We've got one by two, one by two. One thing to note here as well. So when the white wall, they don't have to be like parallel. The rooms don't have to be identical. I occupy the same cells. If that's a one by two, this has to be a one by two as well because it has to be identical. So this room This is separated by this orange wall here. So this has to go this way because of the restrictions of these two walls here. So this is actually going to be three units long because we can go the same orientation with an orange wall. We just can't go the same length. So that there is then going to tell us this one here is actually going to be a two by one. Because black has to be completely opposite to the room on the other side of the uh, wall. So this is a three 
vertical, that has to be a two horizontal. So that also tells us here, this has to be a three vertical. Uh, no, three horizontal, working this way across. So the three horizontal is completely different to the two vertical. So the white wall here, we have a three. Now this is, I think this might break the logic though. Because that gives us a three and a three. But this wall here means we can't have both. We can only have one. So there's something not right here. This is going to be a nightmare to keep track of, like, seriously. It's not going to be easy at all. See, this would denote... Hold on, why, why did I say that has to be a... Hmm, it's this wall here, isn't it? All right, let's tear down some of these walls. Let's take it back because, though I thought I was making some good progress, it's not sure anymore. It doesn't seem like it works within the rules of this puzzle. So we know this one has to run this direction. Which will make this one having to run in this direction to at least two. This one has to cover at least two here. We don't know at the moment how many for sure. This has to be two. That has to be the two. Which means this one here has to be a three. Because of the restriction. This is a two. This one becomes a three. Because it can be the same um, orientation but it can't be the same um, size for the orange wall and we don't know enough at the moment about this orange wall here okay. so if we have a two here we need to have a one two three here If we have a three here, we have to have a one, two, three here. That wall comes up there. Which means this is going to be a wall here at least. Don't know anything else from here at the moment. All that we know here is this wall is going to come up here because that this wall this room is going to run this way. And it could be a two because of the, this white wall here if it runs this way. But we don't know for sure. We just know it runs for at least two. This has to run for at least two down here.
Now we could close this off and make it a two, which would then make that a three, but we don't know enough at the moment about this. What we do know through here though, is that it's got to run this way. Okay. So potentially it could be a three and a three. Make this two. What about this orange one that's a three and a three? But no. Um, two. This has to be a two. Which would then make the black one three. And I will try to justify that in a moment. So the reason it has to be two is if this was a three but a vertical and this was a three vertical that would mean this orange wall would have both the same size and the same orientation which we know we can't do this becomes two So we can put a wall here. Now, this room here would have to be a three, which would make this one a two. But if we made that a two, that breaks the, can't be that, no. See, for this to work here, it's a three. So, no, this could work. Okay, so we have a two there. So this goes into a three. That's fine. Okay, so that works. That works. It's a three. That's a three. So, this becomes a two. This is a three which would mean this one here is a two. So we're not breaking any rules at the moment. Two, that's a two, that comes a three in the other orientation. Okay. So this room has to be a two here, but we don't know any more about that. Could run that way down to a three which would mean this would be a three, which could work, totally work. Okay. Um, okay, this here, one, one, two, three. So we have to make three here somewhere. What have we got here? We got a one, one, two, three here. So we could have a three across here. Or well, this could be a two blocked off with a three across here. We... So what I don't know is whether this is the two or the three. Three. Okay, let's have a look see what we've got this top area here. This has definitely got to be at least a two. So this is going to be that way, which restricts this room to run along here in this orientation. This room is going to come down here. This is a three or a two, though. Try 
try and um, cover a little bit more of this, I think, before we start throwing up walls. This is definitely... I think this wall is valid, placing this one here. So this room comes this way, which means this one's got to go here. So we need a wall here. And if that's the three, this is going to be a three. And that's a three and that's a three. So we're going to have to put another wall here. So, where was we? Somewhere down here. I think I just put in this wall. Sorry, I got distracted for a moment. So it's a three. And that's a three. So yeah, the wall has to go here. Now this here, there's going to have to be a wall here. This is going to be one of those blank rooms. And it's going to be a two blank room here. This is going to have to run this way. And if this runs this way, that means this white wall has got to run this way. We've already got a room here, so this is going to be a vertical two. So maybe I was wrong with the assumption of this wall. No. Hold on. That's a vertical two. It's got to be a horizontal two. This is like really, really quite tricky. <laughs> This is really difficult. What if this was a three? So it would run three this way, three this way. But that's already running two that way, so that breaks that, because this would have to be... No, it doesn't. No, hold on. No, because orange is... Yeah, no, no, we're, we're all good. We're, we're okay. This can be a three this way. It can be a three. The orange is one on one or the other, but not both. This is a two horizontal, so this can be a three horizontal, which then matches with this three horizontal, which then means this has to be a three horizontal here. Okay. So what are the implications of that? This would then become a two horizontal because it can't be a three because it's the same um, orientation. So that means this here has to run either that way or that way as a two. Yeah? Yeah. We Still with me, guys. Hope you're with me. Right, so this one has got to run this way. Hasn't it? Not necessarily. We don't know the answer to that question at the moment. We do know, actually, this one. There's going to be a room running down here. We don't know if it's two or three. If it was to base it on here... That would be a three coming down here. What does this have to be? This has to be a two. Let's say this was a three. This is a three this way. This has got to change to this direction. So this would make this room a three.
This would have to become a blank two and a two this direction, meaning this room here, uh, same orientation, different length. So that works. That's a three. This is a two. So this room, this has to be a three because that can't be a one. So this becomes a two. Four, five, six. We could do two individual twos. This was a three. This would be a three. So we could split. We have to split this down the middle. If that's a three here. This is going to be a three here. Wall comes up here. This becomes a two. That's a three. So this would become two twos. Two. That would only work if it was a black wall, though. No. Must be a three. That's it. We done. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Oh, my God. Yeah, this pencil puzzle was... This was crazy. This was really quite something. I don't know what I was expecting, really. I, I thought... Or I assumed it would be similar difficulty to, like, the Sudoku puzzles. But although I solved this a lot quicker than I've been solving the Sudoku puzzles, this one, I think, was harder. I don't know if it's because... I don't know if it's because the way the pencil puzzle is and with the rules, it's really hard to visualize everything. Like, if you was doing this on pen and paper and you could see top down, it would be a lot... It's, it's, it's probably a lot easier than doing it in escape rooms type um scenario but um yeah there we go guys we did it we made it to the end we got our banana give me my banana i don't know if we did that got the banana or not but uh yeah there we go guys we have finished the uh, voxus pencil puzzle let me know what you thought of the puzzle um and uh, if you play these yourself, um, do you find them difficult or easy? Let me know down below. As well as if you've got any custom escape rooms to play on Escape Simulator, do let me know in the comments. Link them to me, and I will be more than happy to take a look at them. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate your support. And as always, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Happy gaming.